Hey there, Jim Johnson from Accent Help here. And somebody asked me specifically about, I think they were primarily focused on the IPA, but also the concept of syllabic, okay? So I did another video where I talked about an R potentially being syllabic. Now that's not commonly used in transcription of something that's say roughly generican or that's an RP speaker or that, that it may happen in certain accents, but mostly that's not where it gets used. Where it primarily gets used is oftentimes on an N or an L. So underneath an N or an L, if you put a little line under it, that can mean that it's syllabic, meaning that, okay, I know that there's not a vowel, but this acts like a syllable. So it's very common to do that, say on a word like, didn't, where it's two syllables, right? Didn't. It's two different syllables, but there's not a vowel here. Though some people will put a vowel in there, like didn't or didn't. Oh no, you didn't. Or some people will actually make it a single syllable. Didn't, right? So you got variations on this. But if we're looking at a word like didn't, there's a very common syllabic N. Similarly, if I come back to that L again, we can end up with something like, let's say, middle. So that would be middle. Coming on to that L, where the L sort of acts, it's got a syllable to it. So this is the symbol that you could use, that syllabic symbol, to mean that, yeah, I know there's not a vowel there, but it's a syllable. Now, I gotta say, I'm already kind of telling you that because I'm putting a dot there, which is a syllable break. So I'm already telling you there's a syllable break there to tell you there's a syllable. So I'm being a bit redundant. I'm also noting a couple of other things in here, a couple of other diacritics, that there's a lateral release, middle, that you're doing the D around the side of the tongue. And I'm also using a little tiny N up here to say that the D is getting released through the nose. Didn't, right? But you could do this in other places where you don't use the N or the L, that nasal release or the uh, lateral release. Though you could use an N or an L, say something like prison. You might actually go sort of straight from the Z onto the N, prison, zin, prison. Or frankly, you might do that with a word like prism, prism, the prism prism. There might not quite be a vowel there. So this syllabic is a way of showing, hey, I know there's not a vowel here, but this acts like a syllable. Now I will say the only place that it makes sense to actually be able to use this is underneath something that is sustainable, that can continue. So you wouldn't want to put it under a T because you can't go well, I guess you could, but it might be a little awkward in conversation, right? But it will commonly be used, especially under N and L, and it might be used under an M or even that R example that I gave at the beginning, possibly somewhere else. That's the concept in phonetics of syllabic and how I find that useful in transcription. For information about learning accents, which is what I focus on, you can check out the materials at accenthelp.com.